Scheduler makes it easy to quickly create and schedule professional-looking Grafana reports. Scheduler's intuitive UI, customizable templates, and powerful report engine help you share reports with your stakeholders without breaking the bank. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use Scheduler to create, schedule, and generate a Grafana report in PDF format using Scheduler's custom report layout. I'm signed into Scheduler, and from my Reports dashboard, I'll click Create Report, then choose Visual Report. The report is untitled by default, which I'll change later. If I had data sources set up, I would see an option to select a data source. But since I don't have any data sources set up yet, I'll click Connect to Data Source and choose Grafana. I'll enter a name for the data source and the URL for my Grafana environment. This URL only needs the HTTP or HTTPS with the domain and the port. The dashboard part of the URL does not need to be included. If your server is not SSL enabled, you can skip the SSL verification step. You can also enable CA and client certification, which requires a certificate path and key. I'll turn off both and continue. I'll keep enable authentication on, and I can choose a basic login or an API login. For either type, the user logging in must have an admin role in Grafana. For API login, I need to enter the API key generated from Grafana. I'll choose basic login and enter my username and password. After clicking next, Scheduler will connect to my Grafana dashboard, where I can choose my organization and dashboard. The default load time for the dashboard is 180 seconds but I can customize the time if the data will take longer to load. Below this, I can keep the default theme or choose a light or dark theme. I could use Dashboard Layout to replicate my Grafana dashboard or Smart Layout to populate my report automatically, but for full customization, I'll choose Custom Layout. There are several options for time filter, but I'll use the Dashboard Time window. I'll click Save, and the next step is to customize the report. This report consists of a cover page, one inside page, and an end page. The look comes from the default light template found in the Templates section under Report Templates. If I choose the dark version, I can apply one page at a time or click Apply All Pages. I'll go back and reapply the light template. Under My Templates are any templates I've already uploaded. All other features of this report can also be customized. In the Page Settings options, I can set the page size and background color and switch between Portrait and Landscape. To replace the logo on the cover page, I'll select and delete the one that's there, then open Images. I can upload my own image to use or bring in one I've already uploaded and size and place as needed. To edit the report title, I'll double click in the text field. I can assign a new name and right click for options to change font color, size, etc. Or to use an auto-generated parameter, I can edit the text again, start with a dollar sign, and bring in the report title parameter. Date time is another auto-generated parameter. I'll assign a name for the report, which will become the title of each generated report. I can also bring in graphic elements like shapes, lines, and arrows. The text section contains several text boxes and parameters. I'll bring in a new subheading text box and edit it. On the first inside page, I'll right-click inside the solid areas of the header and footer in order to change fill or border colors. Under Charts, I'll find and drag in two of the charts I want on this page. The chart sizes match those in my Grafana dashboard, and while it's possible to resize them, it's recommended to leave the sizes as they are. I'll need a second inside page for more charts, and I can add a new blank page after this one, or use Duplicate Page so that the page will contain the same header and footer. There are also options to delete a page or change page order. I'll add some more charts to this page. To see how my report looks, I'll click Preview. This opens the preview in a separate browser tab, and generating the preview may take a moment or two depending on the amount of data. All of the changes I made appear in the preview, the charts come from my Grafana dashboard, and the auto parameters are correctly filled in. Returning to the report setup in Scheduler, 
Now that the design is complete, I'll proceed to the next step, which is schedule. Recurrence can be hourly, daily, weekly, etc., and I'll choose daily with a start time of 8.15 to repeat every day, but I'll switch to weekdays to avoid weekends. The export format will be PDF. I'll save the schedule settings, and the next step is to set up automated distribution. I'll choose to set up a mail notification channel, name the channel SendGrid, and choose the SendGrid service. After entering the rest of my SendGrid credentials, I can choose to include the admin in all notifications, check over the admin message that will be sent out if the generated report has no data, and send a test email to be sure that all looks correct. I'll save the notification channel settings, and I'll choose the SendGrid channel I just completed. I'll enter a recipient and could add a CC or BCC. The subject is already filled in with the report name parameter, and I'll use dollar signs to add the date and time parameters to the subject. I've also edited the email body and included parameters for the report name and dashboard URL. At the bottom of this window, I can choose to generate a warning email if Scheduler is unable to generate the report. This could result from an error in the report itself or a dashboard loading issue. I just need to specify who will receive this warning email and edit the subject or body if needed. I'll save the distribution settings, and now that the report is configured and scheduled, I'll click Done. This returns me to my reports dashboard, where my scheduled report now appears. The download icon can be used to get the latest version of the report, and I can click Generate Now to get the latest version without waiting for the next scheduled time. Clicking the three-dot icon opens a menu with options to edit, rename, or duplicate the report, pause the distribution, generate the latest version without waiting for the next scheduled time, mail the report now, change the schedule, or share with other team members. Choosing history will show all versions of the report that have been sent out, and there is also a delete option. Scheduler makes it effortless to create and automate sharing of professional-looking Grafana reports with your stakeholders. Ready to automate your Grafana reports? Download Scheduler from scheduler.com download.